How's it going, guys? It is 2.07 a.m. Friday, July 29th here in Japan, and we have a past level question for dermatology, family medicine, pathology, internal medicine, various subject areas. So I'm going to whip through these answer choices, not waste your fucking time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 25-year-old man, one week history of rash in his stomach and shoulders. First noticed the rash after returning from a surfing trip in Florida. It began as a two-centimeter pink ellipse on his stomach that he says has slowly spread across his abdomen and onto his shoulders. It is mildly pruritic, a photograph of the rash is shown. So, question wants to know the most appropriate pharmacologic therapy. As I said, I'm going to whip through the answer choices here and not waste our fucking time. Let's go backwards. Choice G, selenium, wrong fucking answer, a.k.a. Uh, Selsin Blue, okay? This is the high-yield treatment for... Tinea versicolor, okay, caused by malassezia furfur, which I decide to be a fucking asshole and write surfing trip in Florida because that can be a buzzy descriptor for that patient. Uh, however, it, the condition will be described as spotty hypopigmentation on the chest slash shoulders due to the fungus breaking down fatty acids in the skin, okay? Topical selenium is the treatment for that. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice F, prednisone, wrong answer, so oral steroids, as well as topical steroids, e.g. hydrocortisone, triamcinolone, for this condition, as I will talk about, not indicated, wrong fucking answer. Choice E, permethrin, wrong answer, so uh, also very high yield, however, that topical permethrin is the treatment for scabies, okay, as well as lice, so pediculosis capitis head lice, pediculosis corporis body lice, and scabies. Uh, topical permethrin is what USMLE wants. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, meperosin, wrong answer. So this is also exceedingly high yield, uh, especially in pediatrics and family medicine, that you know that this is used topically for impetigo, bolus, and non-bolus. Okay, they love this drug on 2CK, almost non-existent on step one, however. Uh, and of course, if we decide to go the oral antibiotic route for impetigo, we could use dicloxacillin, not toxicycline, uh, dicloxacillin as well as oral cephalexin, but topical mupirocin you need to be aware of. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, clotrimazole, wrong answer. I mean, this image could look like tinea corporis, okay, ringworm, but it's not. If we saw this as an isolated uh, image, okay, an isolated lesion, e.g. on the forearm, could be on the stomach by all means, right? But uh, as an isolated lesion without uh, the rest of this description of spreading onto the across the abdomen, onto the shoulders, etc., uh, then this could be tinea corporis, and we would treat that with topical clotrimazole or myconazole. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, clindamycin, wrong answer. So topical clindamycin could be used for acne. Okay, just clear distractor here, wrong answer. Choice A, calamine is the correct answer. So the diagnosis here is pityriasis rosea. Okay, this is a high yield spot diagnosis. They love this for dermatology, all right? It's caused by human herpes virus 7, usually. It can sometimes be HHV6, which is the same virus that causes roseola in pediatrics, but HHV7 slash HHV6 causes pityriasis rosea. And it will often start as this herald patch, which is a larger pink ellipse, often on the abdomen. Okay, I've actually, I was chatting with a student once. They said that they had a friend who this actually started on the fucking neck and it looked like a hickey. Okay, but I can tell you that for USMLA purposes, it's going to start on the back or on the abdomen, such as this. And they can describe a Christmas tree distribution of a maculopapular type rash that spreads up the chest slash back onto the shoulder blades, okay? So herald patch, this big ellipse, and then it's gonna spread up the shoulder blades. That's called a Christmas tree distribution, and no treatment is necessary. It's supportive care, okay? So that could have been an answer here. Or calamine lotion if it's pyritic, okay? So it's usually gonna be patients in their 20s, and the literature says it doesn't have to be pyritic, okay? So just a self-limiting viral condition, and you need to be aware of this spot diagnosis. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.